Hello. Back out again. Uh, you might have noticed I'm in civvies. Not wearing my walking stuff. Why is that? Well, today I am doing number seven on my South Downs National Park Estate, so largest owners. Um, I'm out on my lunch break because it's quite away from where I live. I was down this way for work, so I thought, just come and do it at lunchtime. Um, rather than the full work, walk, because I'm just covering it really, just to talk about the estate. So I'll crack on, um, quick spin round. So I'm just following this path up. So I'm on the West Dean Estate. Lovely and quiet parking is pretty tricky. But that said, right, let's crack on. So let's talk about it. So it's number seven on the top 12 landowners of South Downs National Park. It's 6,400 acres, no small minnow. It's owned by the Edward James Foundation, um, which includes Westin College, which was opened in 1971, and Westin Gardens. It includes two valleys, Chill Grove and Lavent. It was in the Doomsday Book. So it's one of these places where it was actually a hunting ground originally. Um, who would it be known by? It was under the Chichester uh, wrap. Yeah, anyway, it was a, it was a hunting ground um, broken up into a separate estate. And the first big house was built in the 1620s. So uh, give me a minute and I'll just talk a little bit more. Catch you in a sec. Okay, so it's going to be a bit short and sweet today. As I say, I'm on my lunch break, but I thought I'd come to the estate as I'm this way and talk about the seventh largest. So yeah, uh, I think I mentioned the first big house. Well, I believe the colleges now was built in the 1620s. Um, There's probably a hunting lodge before then. Uh, various families owned it over the years from 1622. And in 1891, someone called William James acquired the estate. Um, now, why is it called Foundation? What's going on there? So basically, Edward James, who was a poet, inherited the estate in 1912. Now, he had no heirs. So in 1964, he set up a foundation um, which would gift the estate on his death um, to a foundation to keep the estate together. Um, so he died in 1984, he was born in 1907. And out of interest, King Edward VII, that was uh, the son of Queen Victoria, quite famous as a party boy. He was a frequent visitor here, he used to come on shooting parties. Um, anyway, so it was gifted to the estate. Um, two thirds of it is let farmland. I'm in what's called West Dean Woods. Very nice, as I say, the parking, I mean, it's really still wet. Parking wasn't fantastic. I had to walk down the road and find somewhere. It's dead quiet, no one here, thank God. Um, yeah, so that's the West Dean Estate. As I say, very nicely, because he had no heirs, he left it as a foundation. It's a college, they have various footpaths, um, but it's preserved. 6,400 acres, number seven. So there you go, that's it, short and sweet. I shall probably head back to the car. Catch you in a bit. Okay, back in the car. Yeah, very short and sweet. As I say, it was more of a visit, it was a visit, not a walk, because I'm on my lunch break. And now I've got to get back to work. Um, but yeah, that's number seven, Westin Estate, which is left as a foundation. Um, lovely. So I'll catch you for the next one. Bye.